Hey soul family, what's going on? This is the Phoenix Cloud Tarot. Thank you so much for joining me. My name is Isa. I'm your friendly neighborhood intuitive oracle slash tarot reader. Man, I'm messy today. And I'll be doing your love quickie for this week. Love quickie, basically we're taking a quick look at the energy between you and your person. We're looking at how you feel about your connection with the person most on your heart, mind, and spirit. And the same for them excuse me so uh i always seem to burp when i do my readings i don't know it's weird anyway so back to what i was saying so yes we're looking at that energy okay so take what resonates for you and leave what doesn't all right if nothing resonates at all you can check your moon rising and venus if you know what those are all right and if none of those resonate you can check some of the older videos okay um like i said this is going to be general so please keep that in mind feel feel free to swap the roles i'm going to talk about your energy here their energy here i also have two cards out from the um the romance angels so we'll talk about them we're going to talk about a, a challenge or something that's a hidden factor in your connection as well all right so we're going to do this we're going to move very quickly so pay attention all right last but not least guys if you like this video please smash my love button that's no longer a like button we don't like things we love things we're here to spread love taurus right so smash the love button and go ahead and please subscribe become part of my tribe i wear these qu quasi wigs what am i elmer fun <laughs> quasi wigs you wascally wabbit <laughs> let's go um okay so anyway Taurus, I got this message for you before I started and it was in too deep. Okay, so some of you might be really deep in a connection. Let's talk about Taurus right now. Tell me about Taurus. Tell me about Taurus's vibration, their energy toward the person most on their mind, heart, and spirit. Thank you so much. Tell me about Taurus, wascally wabbits. <laughs> <laughs> that cracked me up mm, okay you could be dealing with somebody at a distance from you with the eight of wands we have faith which is the hierophant card and the four of swords so you might be on a break from somebody um that there's either emotional distance or physical distance between the two of you with the faith card you could be in a, already in a higher commitment with this person or you want a higher level of commitment with this person with the hierophant okay this is also somebody who's praying. So I always feel like this is like uh, seeking the answers, you know, looking to God, spirit, whatever it is for you regarding this connection. Okay, so there's some, I, get, I kind of feel this heavy feeling of like, I don't know what's happening here. Okay, and I also feel that I'm in deep. All right. So, and it doesn't feel like trouble, but it's like deeply invested somehow. Let's talk about your person, spirit. Talk to me about Taurus's person, most on their heart, mind, and spirit, and how they feel towards Taurus. That was very quick. Okay, they feel there's a heaviness here, and we'll go deeper and find out what that is by clarifying. We have judgment, okay? So this person is looking for a rebirth. They might also be trying to, you know, trust God, trust the Most High on this connection, but this person could also be pregnant with the Empress, okay? Wow. So we have harvesting and abundance. This person either wants to give you a child or they're pregnant with a child. There's a lot of love this person feels for you. They feel a very nurturing, loving vibration toward you. Um, and there's this heaviness that I can't deny with that Ten of Wands, okay? So this person could very well want to um, have some sort of reconciliation or rebirth with you because we do have judgment and it does mean that a second chance um maybe they want to give you a second chance or you know the, with birth but they want to bring it new okay so it's like a new beginning type of thing talk to me about the mutual energy please between taurus and their person talk to me about the mutual energy between taurus and their person thank you there's a lot of happiness there with the Three of Cups, Joy, Celebration, Four of Wands, okay? So, but there's a Queen of Swords, all right? 
Um, I'm curious if there is some third party involved in this, but it, it may or may not be that there's another person. It could be a lot of things. Third party means anything that's really sucking up the time and energy in your connection, you know, that's getting in the way. It could be other people. I do see another person here, Queen of Swords. I honestly feel like this could be a mother figure or something like that for some of you. Okay. Um, but what the challenge is, and it's interesting why I felt like I needed to have three cards. Um, sorry, the energy between the two of you. I'm going to look at the challenge soon. Boy, I'm getting myself off track. Um, it, it feels like th maybe the, an honest talk needs to happen, okay? Um, maybe you both are doing things behind each behind closed doors, behind each other's back, or you have done that, and you guys need to talk about it, okay? It doesn't necessarily have to be betrayal or anything like that, but there's something that needs to be discussed, okay? So let's talk about the challenging energy. Yeah, a major decision with two of wands challenging energy what's the challenge right now or what's being hidden what's a hidden factor or a challenge right now strength hold on one second Ugh. yeah okay got it so the challenge is the two of wands and the strength okay um loyalty can you guys hold on can you make it through this rough patch okay so i feel that many of you could just be going through something right now um there's a lot of love here uh but it feels like taurus you're the one that might be a little more stressed in this connection than the person that you're actually connecting with at the bottom of the deck three of swords we have heartbreak there could actually be a third party situation involved here knight of coins means somebody's strategically planning on how they're going to do this work okay so um with strength, this can speak into its Leo energy. It could speak into um, the challenges holding back these um, these feelings. You know, this inner taming that inner animal. Okay, um, can somebody do this? Can they be loyal to this connection and move forward? Two of Wands is a is a major connection. Okay, you guys could have a very like you dream about each other, like some type of psychic connection. All right, um, I'm getting a lot of Libra energy for whatever reason, okay? Three of Swords. Let's go ahead and clarify and take a look at this, and then I'm going to talk about um, the uh, cards that are here from the Romance Angels, okay, guys? Moving right along. Tell me why we have this Four of Swords, please, for Taurus's energy. Why do we have the Four of Swords? Ah, Taurus, I think you're the one who might have walked away from this connection. It could have been your person, um, but we have a break, okay? So somebody made a made a break in this relationship, and they're walking away, okay? Four of Cups, this person got bored, they got off track, they were too focused someplace else, okay? Could be a job, work, family, anything, all right? Whatever it is, it's some sort of emotional attachment. This person started detaching from you emotionally, and they're like, you know, they're, they're still looking for something, okay? This could have to do with themselves. It could have to do with another person, but this person is seeking, you know, they're seeking themselves. They're feeling a little bit emotionally disconnected and empty right at this time, okay? So why do we have faith here? Why is the Hierophant here? And that could be you, Taurus. It doesn't have to be your person. Five of Swords, okay? Why else do we have the Hierophant here? <clears throat> four of swords okay again there could have been a really nasty sort of argument here you could be dealing with Aquarius Libra Gemini could also be dealing with uh, Cancer Pisces Scorpio it, or a fire sign Aries Leo Sag okay I've got literally no coins here so I don't really have any earth energy so I'm getting this like there may have been some talk about a higher level of commitment here that wasn't happening um, and somebody there's some nasty words going back and forth here that I really don't like 
um, you know, a kind of a bitter argument. Okay. So we have the four of swords twice. It feels to me like that's mutual energy. So you both decided like, fuck this. We need a break. Okay. You guys could be at a distance. There were a lot of like maybe very heated, um, messages going back and forth. Um, you know, and it just, I get jealousy. I don't know why I'm getting jealousy, but I get some jealousy here. Okay, so let's see why we have the Ten of Wands in their energy. Mm, why is the Ten of Wands there? Yeah, somebody thinks somebody was like, somebody could have been manipulating this. Okay, we have King of Wands. And to me, I know the Knight is the person that's more in and out. And we talk about him being the, you know, the big time player and stuff like that, because they're very unsettled. But somebody here could be with the king of wands there's also a kind of player energy there's a heaviness all right somebody really likes to be free and independent here they're waiting for their ships to come in and i feel like they're looking back at this okay they're looking back at this like this feels heavy to them they want you they're waiting for you to come back so it could be that you are the person who kind of separated this energy take it as it resonates for you because i'm doing two different sides here okay so you know who you are it's like somebody wants to put this back together there's a lot of passion but this is also very heavy when it comes to this connection okay somebody's waiting Tell me why we have judgment here, please. Why is judgment here? What's the judgment about? Clarify that, please. The world. Okay, so the end of a cycle, the beginning of a new one. Yeah, Knight of Wands. So, so what I feel like is this is that I, I want this back. There could be a little bit of in and out energy, but the Knight of Wands, you know, he has a mission. So his mission is to start a new cycle here. Okay. There's a rebirth. Somebody could want to play, like put the player away. Okay. And make a more of a solid commitment in this situation. But I almost get this energy of somebody kind of being a little bit back and forth. And this has been a lot. All right. You might have children involved here. This also could have been a one night stand is what I'm getting as well. Um, and it's like, somebody is just emotionally not really invested in this while somebody else is they feel a lot of passion but they're very burdened by this sort of waiting energy okay they're waiting to hear from you they're waiting for a message they're waiting for anything from you um and please feel free to swap it you could be the one that's waiting to hear from this person okay now, in the mutual energy, talk to me about this Three of Cups, please. Why is the Three of Cups here in the mutual energy? King of Swords, Page of Pentacles. It's just a small little commitment, but somebody has like a big thing about it, okay? I feel like... It's great being together and all of that, but there's something that needs to be talked about that needs to be discussed, okay? Um, there's a truth that needs to come out or something that needs to be, there's something that needs to be done here. Talk to me about this King of Swords. Why is this here? What's this about? Okay, yeah, there's some sort of apology. Somebody is having some regrets here. Maybe both of you have some regrets about um, about it, like a conversation that you all had. Somebody is thinking things. I don't know how to explain this because I can't get into this person's head, obviously. But I feel like there's like... Wow, that's interesting. So Taurus, you're in deep to somebody who might have a little bit of a vibe of like trying to keep it light, like this person may have been trying to keep it light. And now there's like a child involved somehow with the Empress. I can't get off that. Like I feel somebody's pregnant, like there's some drama. Okay. Um, somebody is really upset about all of this. They regret maybe, you know, this connection. I don't know something weird, but why is this four of wands here in the mutual energy? 
the hermit. Somebody is taking a time out, but also trying to use their wisdom and the tower. Okay, so this was very sudden, whatever this is, like uh, unexpected. Okay, it might have been unexpected that this actually developed into some sort of connection that you guys are having a hard time separating from, but you're separated right now. Somebody, it's like, it's almost like one person is still trying to like do their thing, you know, like they don't feel like, oh, I found, you know, the connection that I want to be in. This was just supposed to be like a fling or a one night stand. And the other person is feeling a little more serious about it. Okay. They're a lot more hurt. And I feel this is very, very weird. Um, it's like somebody wanted to make an offer and, you know, is like, that's just not where their head is at. Okay. Why do we have this challenging energy? What's this two of wands about? This is a big decision. I'm sorry, guys. There, I feel like there's a lot of energy here. There's reconciliation, okay? Do I reconcile? Do I go back? Do I share with this person? Do I talk to them? Do I heal this connection? Why do we have strength here? Why do we have strength here as a challenge? Somebody's still got some stuff they need to work on. Okay, they're not ready. Yeah, we've got attachments here with the shadow side and the star. So somebody is hopeful um, that somebody is going to let go of maybe another, like an energy or a connection, something here. There's a lot of fear of attachment with the shadow side. Okay, um, there could even be codependency issues. But I feel like the challenge is that somebody has to let go of something and almost feels like there's quite possibly an expectation that something has. Um, they have to, whoever this is, you need to let go or they need to let go of you for a healing to happen. Okay, so it's, this is really like trusting the process, right? Um, I don't think it's that this person isn't into you. I think they are. I think they're going through a lot. If this is a situation where you guys were like hooking up, this person has a lot of feelings for you. They can see a higher level of commitment with you and they still need to figure out if this is what they really want to move forward toward it. Um, and it feels like in the process, y'all are having a baby. Okay. So that was unexpected. There's a lot of things to deal with here. Okay. So it's like affecting what they want to do. Okay. They don't, they, I feel like they don't know what to do. I feel like, Meh. okay. Whoever this is, um, for others of you, you were already in some type of commitment, uh, and somebody, I don't want to say they stepped out. I think somebody's just got adventurous energy. They're a little bit bored. They have some emotional stuff that they need to handle and take care of. They could have kind of fallen out of love a little bit in this connection. And this is about creating space for that person to heal. Okay. They have attachments, maybe to things that were said and done in the past arguments between the two of you that weren't very nice. They could have felt taken advantage of. Okay. Or you felt taken advantage of take it as it resonates um so this is like do i want to reconcile this okay if somebody does want to reconcile it but i think there's fears around that okay there's fears about control um and if they're going to be able to make it work all right so that feels like the underlying energy page of wands there's a message coming soon three of swords like we said at the bottom of the deck there could have been a third party in one of these situations that i'm talking about or something getting in the way or just heartbreak that there's like a, a separation right now okay let's talk real quick about the cards that came out in the pre-shuffle for the uh, romance angels we have worth waiting for divine timing is at work in your love life okay so waiting for the right time okay like i said somebody might have some healing that they need to do here and then we have children. How many times did we talk about kids in this connection, right? Your love life is being affected by children, okay? Like we said, all right? So I do feel like children have something to do with this connection here, whether someone's pregnant or not. 
okay um and maybe that's why there's this back of back and forth too of somebody staying and going and you know what i mean because there's kids involved here okay taurus so it means a lot to you you're in very deep with this person that's what i got into deep <laughs> so i i feel like that kind of energy is here this is what i have for you taurus thank you so so much for being here allowing me to read for you i truly appreciate your energy if any of this resonated for you if you got any little nuggets from it please go ahead smash my love button exchange some love energy with me like share and subscribe become part of my tribe thank you so much guys i love you and until i see you again soon bye taurus